Well, that ain't getting done today. Or probably for another month. I found a TV. Someone want it? So we're up here at Russellville right now. I was looking for somewhere to spray. I do not think I'm going to be able to spray up here today. I thought I would be able to yesterday, but I don't know if I got a little bit more rain last night or what. It, I mean, obviously you can tell that there's water down there. There's a ditch there that floods out. And then I got this field and this field that I can do, but they're a little bit wet on the hill. So it's probably not a good idea. So I just dug around out here in this field up at Russellville. This was planted about a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that. And as you can see, we got a sprout coming off. It's swollen and got a sprout coming off of it. So that's always a plus. Means we might make some money. If you look down there and you see all that water, that will all be planted at some point, wherever the river goes down. It'll all be planted. We're back here at the farm. I gotta fill up my Roundup tank. It's too wet to do anything today. I don't really wanna risk getting hung up all the way up there because it'll be a while before anyone will be able to get to me. So we're just gonna fill up and make sure everything's ready to go in case we can tomorrow. Turn it up a little bit first. Before we go ahead and put chemical in this tank and we'll start it a little bit. So I need this pump, this pump now. So I'm gonna take this pump off and put it on my spray trailer. But first I gotta take this hose off and put a different one on it. That or I gotta take this off and put a meter on there so I know how much I'm putting in. So I had to just leave that hose and put the meter on. So that's what I did, I just put the meter on there. Then I gotta take this pump and then I gotta put it on my trailer on the other side of that wall. So we now got this pump figured out. Put that pump on top, strapped it down. Put my tank, my Roundup tank back up here, and then put my, put a new pump there. My other pump broke, so I had to get, I had to use a different one. And then I got to pull the truck up and fill up with Matador. Cause I don't know when I'll be back to get more. So I picked this tank cause it's half full. I used it last year and um, I'm just gonna use it again. All I do is I, or I'm gonna empty this one out into another tank. All I do is take and put this on the bottom there. And then I take, stick this in, in the top of the tank. So that'll be pretty quick and easy. And then we will, uh, we gotta pull the truck up first, fill this, fill that tank up. And then I don't know what else I gotta do today. So we got the, the truck pulled up. Got to put this in there. Then I got to move the truck back around. I might go weigh it too. Make sure it's underweight. Oh yeah, and Xavier's on his way. Forgot to mention that. We'll have Xavier tell us what this means. Give me a look at your baby face. Hang on. Hang on. Xavier's here too. Hey. We're also putting antifreeze in this. The, we had to replace the radiator and stuff. And Hi guys. Now you can see that Ross has no longer got a beard on him. Give it two weeks and we'll be back. Goal. <laughs> Comment below if you think he's if you think he looks like a baby now with his baby face. Okay, you don't even have to do that. I already know, so. Just remind him of it. <laughs> so, it's a little wet. It was a little wet to do anything yesterday. This is Wednesday. We're back out here at the farm. We're circulating water through that tank so that we can use it for chemical like what we did this other one and put Roundup in it. Extent Roundup Weather Max. 
It's supposed to be coming mid, or I'm gonna try to order it for mid-May, late May, and then we'll put it in this tank. We were having hell getting it cleaned out. We had to circle, we had to, we had a pressure washer and was trying to use a pressure washer to spray on the inside of it. And that didn't work. So we finally started using like a, like a tank cleaner. Dump some of that in there. And then now we're just trying to get the tank cleaner to mix in there and peel the what was left in there off the sidewalls. It just had a bunch of like white or old chemical in it. We're just trying to flush that all out and get it out of there so we don't have to worry about that with our Roundup hurting our crops or anything. So and then after we get done with this, we're gonna go, probably gonna go spray over in Russellville. Gonna try to go over there. See if we can get anything done over there. Well, false alarm on the spring. It's raining up there, so we are not going to go up there. Instead, I got to clean up my mess here and then maybe stir this tank a little bit more. Simple little button. So that's going. I'm going to clean up these hoses and put them up or something. So we just got the, we pulled the planter back in here, keep it out of the elements. That's still stirring. I'm gonna go out back and check on, I think they're out there loading grain. So I might go out there, see how that's going. We got lights in here, in case you never knew that. There's just a few lights right there across the. Corn's popping up. Looking pretty good so far. Here, I'll go ahead and dig this up. It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Not so bad. We got all this here growing. We'll wait. We'll wait a while before we ever run out of irrigation because we try to get the corn to grow its roots down so it doesn't fall over. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's starting to rain on me too. It's got a pretty long root on it for being. This was planted three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. And it's got a pretty good sized root on it for being planted that long ago. Looks pretty good though, as far as that goes. You can see that it's got its nice green color. Looks like it germinated okay and came up a little squishy on the bottom though. That's okay, that's what you want. See, it's got a red, it's red. So yeah, we'll do another one, another corn update. We'll probably start, I'll probably start doing about every video. Cause it's pretty neat to watch them grow. And then I don't know that we will put any anhydro or any uh, nitrogen on or side dress it between the rows. We do sometimes, but not very often. It just depends on how it looks whenever it gets up. But that looks pretty good right now. But we'll see how it looks in a couple of weeks, whenever it gets to be about knee high. So. Okay, what are these two doing? There's two people fishing here, and I have no idea who they are. We'll have to go over there and see what they're doing. I don't think they have any business being here. The one guy's even got a Make America Great Again hat on. And look, he's got a Ford. We don't support Fords around here. So this pump no longer works. Uh, they say that there's a fuse inside here or some kind of trip thing or whatever. So I'm gonna take it apart and find out. I have never taken one of these pumps apart, so it's a learning experience. Probably ought to get the hose and stuff out of the way first, so. Cobalt toolbox, get one. They're nice. So far I got this bracket off. And I'm working on getting these two bolts out. So I guess they were what hold the whole entire pump together. And now I gotta figure out what all this does. Huh. 
Yeah, I've never had one of these apart before, so. I, I have no idea what I'm looking at. This is what spins the, mo spins the motor. Magnet, two magnets. And push on to this and spin the pump. It's pretty neat, actually. If you look there, it looks like it's a little burn up. I think. I don't know. I'm not no wiring expert, but it smells burnt up. That's the magnet. That's what that's what spins this. When electrified, when, when you get electrified, this magnet spins this magnet. But also, I think whenever you turn this, it's supposed to turn, and it's not turning very easy. So. It's doing something now. Let's go ahead and take the rest of it apart. That's all rusted out. Then there's two bolts, looks like sitting down in there. So that's definitely not good. Probably this this pump's probably junk. Oh my. These pumps are pretty pricey too, so I don't know if I can just get new one of these or what, but yeah, it's all kinds of rusted out. Probably have to take this off and beat on it with a hammer to get this thing to come out. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this off. Cause, uh, I'll have someone look at it. Tell me if it's bad or tell me. This bad, which I think, this, I think the silk, so, the, thing that pumps your chemical in here is bad so that's gonna be this probably means that this pumps junk more or less so we'll have to probably get a new one I don't know. like I said I don't really know what I'm looking at with these things but I'm sure someone does but yeah that's pretty neat never took one part before Got these little bitty seals in there. This pump has Viton seals in it. See, Viton seals? That basically means that you don't want to pump white chemical, you want to pump your darker chemical with it. So like your rifle and dicamba and stuff like that. That's that's what a Viton seal is for. The other seal is for is actually made for this kind of chemical, this white chemical, because the white chemical is thicker and it needs a different seal for it. So anyways guys, that'll probably be it for today. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions or if you got any ideas on what could be wrong with that pump, because I have no idea. So that'll be it. I know you guys are probably wanting to see the planter running, but you got to see the growth of it. So that'll be okay. I gotta shut them off and then I was gonna go spray, so I gotta make sure everything's put up to where it isn't gonna get wet and so yeah, anyways, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.